Sensors are simple to install and operate, have no moving parts and do not require a monthly replacement of regions. We will demonstrate the easy setup and calibration of Omnicon Free Chlorine Monitor, which consists of a free chlorine sensor and a sample flow cell. It only takes a few minutes to assemble the sensor or to perform any routine maintenance. The sensor kit includes a probe with a membrane cap, a one-year supply of electrolyte and a single piece of blue abrasive paper. Certain precautionary measures must be taken. Before a membrane cap is ever removed, it is critical to slide the elastic seal away from the tiny vent hole. Failure to do so can result in permanent damage to the membrane. Also, do not touch the membrane surface, which is located on the tip of the cap, or grey-coloured reference electrode. The assembly process is quite simple. Clean the working electrolyte by placing the blue abrasive paper flat on a paper towel and run the tip across the paper two or three times to clean the gold surface. Slowly fill the membrane cap to the edge with electrolyte gel, not allowing any air bubbles to form. Hold the probe body upright while inserting it slowly into the membrane cap and screw the cap onto the probe. Rinse off any excess electrolyte that escapes from the top of the cap and through the vent, and then dry the probe exterior. Now be certain the membrane cap has been hand tightened as far as it will go. Finally, slide the elastic seal into the slotted position over the vent hole, making sure that the seal is seated correctly and not twisted. Make sure the Omnicon is plugged before installing the prepared sensor into the system. Insert the parts that taken from the sensor housing in the order as shown. Place the sensor in the housing. Adjust the sensor position distance as 2 cm between membrane tip and water supply point. Secure the sensor in place by tighten the retainer sleeve. There mustn't be pressure in the sample chamber and sample outlet should flow directly into an atmospheric drain. Slowly open the water inlet valve after making sure that the water outlet valve is open. Adjust the water flow rate to 30 liters per hour. Make sure there is no air bubble on the sensor tip. Connect the sensor cable to the Omnicon and wait 2 hours. You have to wait 2 hours for sensor polarization time. Meanwhile, there must be free chlorine in the water at least 10% of the maximum range of the sensor. For example, if you use free chlorine sensor with 0 to 5 ppm range, there must be 0 0.5 ppm free chlorine in the water that you measure. And this water must pass through the sample chamber during 2 hours. Two hours later, take a sample water in order to measure in your photometer and check free chlorine level of the water. Go to the calibration menu from the main screen. Your password is 4 times 2 Choose New Calibration section. You should see a row value close to the reading value on top of the screen. Enter the value that you read on the photometer in the field seen as BF2 and save it. Return to the main screen. On the main screen, you should see the value that has been read on the photometer with a maximum deviation of plus or minus 0 